Hey guys, going on Nivens here. Time for your weekly rock wind up. Well, a couple of monster tours announced this week. Uh, first one being Nine Inch Nails co headlining with Soundgarden. Dates have been released, however, no stops planned for KC as of now. If that changes, believe me, we'll let you know. And then the grandmothers lock up your. Gra your granddaughter, or granddaughters lock up your grandmother's tour. Yeah, I was trying to get that one out. Uh, Kiss and Def Leppard doing it to it this summer. They will make the announcement on Monday, St. Paddy's Day, as to what cities and when they'll be hitting. And moving along with a couple of movie announcements this week, Jimi Hendrix's estate, led by his, uh, his sister Janie, signing off on a new Hendrix biopic. If you remember, uh, <laughs> I guess Andre 3000, well, I don't guess, I know, Andre 3000 is slated to play Hendrix in a new biopic where none of the music that Hendrix made will be used in it because she wouldn't sign off on it. She didn't feel it was appropriate. But then she just signed with a company to make a movie that will actually have the Hendrix music in it. I don't know, I don't understand it. And then the on again, off again saga of Queen, the biopic, is now on again with a guy named Ben Wishaw playing the late Freddie Mercury. If you recall, Sasha Baron Cohen, who of course was uh, Bruno as well as Borat, was supposed to be him, uh, but then I guess the, the Queen camp didn't want to sign off on it, but now it's saying it's back on. So. It's kind of strange and odd and all that jazz. If you do recall, I guess it was last week, Queen announced that they're going to be doing a tour with Adam Lambert from American Idol, of course, stepping in and trying the best he can to fill the shoes of Freddie Mercury. Well, I told you guys last year about a new supergroup being formed that brings in uh, one part Mars Volta, one part Mastodon, one part Sepultura Soulfri Soulfly, and one part uh, Dillinger Escape Plan, and Killer Be Killed finally announcing May 13th for their debut self-titled album. Really looking forward to this because you're talking about some serious players in the metal bu uh, business uh, kicking out new stuff. Speaking of kicking out new stuff, uh, New York hardcore legends Madball going to roll out some uh, action in August, and of course a uh, big announcement coming on June 3rd. We will see Led Zeppelin, Led Zeppelin 2, Led Zeppelin 3, all digitally remastered and put out all sorts of bonuses and bennies on that one. So uh, look forward to all of that. I'll make sure to have it up in a blog at 989therock.com of new music to be coming out later on this year. And to close out your weekly rock windup, it seems the Prince of Darkness cannot escape God's wrath. Ozzy and family losing their Berkshire, England mansion as it got completely flooded. I mean, it is ruined. Walls have been caved in. It was one of the rainiest seasons, I guess, over in England, and it just ruined the entire house. According to Sharon, they're not even going to be able to go in to even try and salvage it because it's going to take months for it to dry out. So, <laughs> Sharon! Sorry, I don't know. You talk, to, talk about Ozzy, you just got to throw out, your, uh, you gotta throw out your, uh, your best Ozzy impression, you know. I'm Nivens. Thank you very much for tuning in to your Weekly Rock Windup brought to you by Kickstarter by Mountain Dew. Uh, a lot of, lot of action going on this weekend in Kansas City. Uh, one of those events being uh, noon to two tomorrow, Saturday. I'll be at the Real Deal Tattoo Convention at the Uptown with Rockfest tickets. So make sure you come out and say hi. And just maybe, just score yourself a pair of passes for the Festival of Rock. Have a great weekend.